Howdy, howdy, howdy. Welcome back, folks. This is another episode of Stardew Valley, and Merry Christmas. It's Christmas Eve. All right, I'm starting on the title menu here, just so we can discuss a few things before we get started. Well, one thing mainly. If you're trying to get all the achievements in the game, you're going to need two separate saves. One save, you got to go through and rebuild the community center. And then you got to have a second save file where you got to go through and you got to work for the evil corporation and buy the upgrades from the town through them to get all the achievements because there's two different achievements for those. So you got to have two separate save files. As you see, my main, my old file I was messing around with, I just called Yo, and then him I called Yo Yo. <laughs> but this is us. So let's get to it. <clears throat> so if you're trying to get all the achievements, you do have to play the game twice, pretty much. You gotta have two files. All right, where did we leave off? Um, amara, 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 um. Wow, this house is small. <laughs> All right, so far we only got one storage box. Why do I need you to build me a well? We have a pond right here. We got infinite water for free. Don't waste your money on building wells. Water source right here. Free. Free water. I ain't paying you a thousand bucks for free water. When I already have free water. <laughs> All right. Got to water the crops. I don't even know what we have here anymore. So that's done. Uh, before we do that, let's go to town and see if anybody needs anything. We might buy a few more seeds. Just so we could start boosting our money. Of course, you got to scavenge along the way. What missions do we have? Build a furnace, explore the mine, get to level five. Build a coop. And meet everybody. Okay. We'll take that. It's an extra two hundred forty dollars to go kill four slimes, since we haven't been in the mines yet. Mayor Lewis's birthday. All 
All right, we're gonna kind of cheat here. I have a page opened. Well, I have the Internet Explorer open where you can go through and see what everybody likes for their uh, birthday presents, their likes and dislikes, so you know what to give them. <clears throat> so we're going to pause it. Lewis. That would be right here. <clears throat> See, if you come to the uh, wiki here, right here, love. This is all the stuff he loves. This is all the stuff he likes. I don't think we got any of this shenanigans. I know we don't have any of that yet. Ah, all right, there you go. <clears throat> we just got done growing them, so. I think we saved a few of them, so we could give them one of those. And then we'll head to the mines. Or the mine. All right. I do believe we saved a few of them. We saved one, really. Before we do that, we have two free days, and then the kid's birthday, then the egg hunt, and that's the girl we're going to try to marry right there, Haley. I just think she's the cutest. <laughs> Although, Abigail's pretty cute, too. Shopkeeper's daughter. This is the mayor's house here. Where are you, mayor? There you are. That boosted us up right there. We got a long way to go. Always see if there's free money down here. Right here. Free money. Oh, yeah. We still got to rebuild the bridge. We got a lot of work to do. So, no more wasting time. Let's just do it. Hey, Penny. Talking to everybody every time you see him helps, too. I think you got to pretty much start talking to people, and every 20 or so conversations, they start liking you a little more. Well, as long as you're nice to them, that is. Sell you. We don't need you right now. We're going to store you for now. <clears throat> we'll hit the shop tomorrow and see what's available. Right now, we're going to go slay the slimes, try to earn some more money.
see how far we can get in the mines with a little bit of time we got. Hey, buddy. Every five levels, the elevator will start working so you can go down to your progress. All right, so this. Keep the pickaxe and the sword next to each other. And there's nothing to fight right now, so bam. First shot, next level. Get a topaz right off the bat. Look at that. All right, how many do we get? We got to kill just four. All right, that's easy enough. Our mission. <clears throat> that should be four, right? Talk to the mayor, collect the reward. It's easy to use your sword to break open boxes rather than trying to pickaxe them or axe them. Just so you all know. All right, we went down once or twice. Crystal? Ah, inventory full. Um, that's the only bad thing. We need the backpack upgrades. I know sap is an important item for a future reference. When you uh, get the fertilizer recipe and whatnot, you use the tree sap so you can make your fertilizer. But right now, the Earth Crystal is more important. Oh, heck yeah. Jackpot! Topazes. <laughs> is that hardwood? Ah. No, it's just regular. Where'd 
We're just going to see what we can find and try to make it to the first elevator level before we have to run back to our house. Alright, so that's all there is for that. Now we gotta try to find the elevator. Oh, there we go. There we go. Level 5, secure. Now we can take the elevator up and we can just come back down and start at 5. I want to be money. <laughs> Hope it doesn't blow up the house. Mayor, give me my money. You get pretty much two mine missions like that. You'll have another one. That one says reach level 40. And then the other one you're going to get after that is reach the bottom. You don't really get rewards for doing them. But exploring the mines, you get a bunch of stuff. And when you reach the bottom, you get a bunch, a bunch, a bunch, a bunch of good stuffs. <clears throat> well, you only get one item, but it's awesome. And it definitely helps out. We'll sell one of them just to make some money. We're going to need more storage boxes. <sighs> How much time do we got? If anyone is past this point and you're actually playing the game and following along and you're looking for hardwood, get an iron pickaxe. Or iron axe, my bad. And chop this log right here with your iron axe. And that's an evil forest. And you can go in there and every single day, tree stumps respawn where you can get hardwood from. That's how you stock up on your hardwood. But the only problem is there are slimes in there you have to fight every day too. <clears throat> but if you're far enough along where you have iron and you can upgrade to an iron axe, you should... Be able to take out some green slimes real easy. All right, it's getting late. Back to the house. Yeah, these tree stumps. They give you hardwood.
the update is here, so you don't have to worry about it glitching anymore now. Wow. That's pathetic. Lay ten slimes and <clears throat> we can get into the adventurer's guild. Oh. Always watch Living Off the Land and whatever you turn your TV on random days, you'll have Living Off the Land and some cooking channel thing and you learn a lot of recipes from the TV here. sell any of you. I need to start stocking up. We are definitely going to have to go buy some more seeds. As soon as we hit the beach, we'll forge whatever we can at the beach, and then we'll just uh, buy some seeds and We'll plant and try to make some money. Since it's only 720, we'll hit the beach first. Nobody has a help wanted sign up. That's good. Although there is an achievement for completing 40 of those mission bounty board thingamabobbers help wanted signs. Nothing on the beach. No money for us. Boo. I say, I say again, boo. And then you got the kid's birthday. You need to have a, at least... 500 bucks maybe right here. I'm going to try to have an extra 800 when we get to this. You buy strawberry seeds from this guy. We're not going to plant them this year because, I mean, they take like a week to grow. And then you only get like one, maybe two harvests before the end of the month. Before they die off. So, you buy, stock up on strawberry seeds. We're going to try to buy eight. That way we can have the automatic sprinkler. See, like this, you put the sprinkler here, and then you got this block, this block, this block, this block, this block, and so on and so forth, all the way around with the automatic sprinklers that we're going to try to build. So, with the sprinkler here, you got eight blocks here. That's what we're going to try to design our farm for. That way, we never have to water anything. <clears throat> All right, come on, it's 810. Well, while that's going on, let's see if we can find any goody goodies. Clean up the town a little.
All right, nine o'clock. He's open. I want you. We're going to try to boost as much as possible. We are technically a farmer, so that's what we're supposed to be doing is farming to make money. Of course, we're going to be doing other shenanigans in between, too, but... Look for crops that grow quick. And that are really cheap. <clears throat> these are random seeds, so we'll plant these just to see what grows. We're going to have to start chopping some trees, making some paths, bending our little ranchola farmola here. Really? Really? Really, really? You do be like that, really, really? done for the day. Go away! Go away, I say! We need them to yell.
We're doing some rearranging here. Food items and stuff we'll put in the other one. Shenanigans, we'll leave with this one for now. Man, I'm used to having those big backpacks. <laughs> Technically, it's not a food item. We should go fishing in the lake, try to earn some money, too. We'll clean up the house or the farm today and we'll go fishing for tomorrow. Try to boost our money. need that. And a geode. We definitely need that. Oh, we need a bigger backpack. That we do. Oh, bigger backpack, bigger backpack. Shenanigans! I don't like super slow move. And since it's already nighttime, there's no point in even eating anything because all you do is waste an item. Even though we're just going to turn around, go back inside, and go to raid the bed. So there's no point wasting any items right now. All right, tomorrow we'll do a fishing day. Try to boost our money. After we water our crops, that is. And the lights go out in the city. If you notice that when we walked in the door, the light in the window there was actually on because it was still sunny out. And then a star kill. Wah, wah, wah. Nighty nights. We're going to bed early. We're an exhausted farmer. Yep. 
That be the way it is, man. Get up, you bum. We got work to do. You cannot be hanging out with shenanigans. We have plenty of work to do. Oh, I see you. I do. I see you. Woohoo, two tellers. Ah, oh, we got two tellers. Two for one. Woohoo. Are you serious? We're going to be exhausted before we can even get the war crops watered here. We really, really, really got to start boosting our stats here. I don't want that spot to go away. Not yet. Okay, maybe we're not going to go fishing. What in the bloody hell? Oh, we definitely need those sprinklers. We're already drained, man. And we don't even have a kitchen, so we can't even cook anything, but we could do that. I don't even know if we have enough seeds. I don't want to use all of them, so. Does that give us any energy? Really? Not enough. Oh, potatoes! Put one in there, or we'll sell one. Quick stroll around the neighborhood. We're forging. Give me, give me, give me! See, the tree's growing back. That's the one we cut down at the beginning of the game. I think we did that in episode one. We could fish right there, but I want to see if there's anything on the beach. I like at the beach. Usually it gives you a bunch of goodness. And since it's spring, Gibby, gibby, gibby! Those salmon berry thingamabobbers will be coming out soon so that we can forge them all day long. Gibby! Hello! She don't like me. Money! Money, money, money! Hey, wallet! Oh! We keep forgetting about the wood. No! Oh. I was going to fish, but we only have one spot. It's kind of pointless to try to fish with only one spot. So we have to go and be out and then come back. Ah! No help when it's in. Good. Very, very good. Okay. Manana. Let's on. Little punk. Oh my goodness! Oh. Woo. And then 
if it weren't for me. Clean, but I try to keep the gold stars. Why? I don't know. I just do. I know it's considered a fish, but I don't want to fill our food box up here with crustaceans. You will see my reasoning. There's a method to my madness. Shortly. Because once we start catching a bunch of different fish, you're pretty much going to need a box just for fish and then a separate box for all the shells and all that shenanigans. Really? Did we have 300 wood since we're going back to the beach? I didn't even look. Don't! Oh! Kind of slacking. No, we don't. We need 300 wood. I guess we'll be fishing on Vincent's birthday tomorrow. That did what we needed it to do. Ooh. I know we ate the snack so we could fish for a whole two or three casts, but getting the bridge built. Is very important because there's a lot of crustaceans on the other side there that are worth a lot of money. So you can forge all day long. I make buku. Certain shells and coral and stuff that's on the other side, they're worth a lot of money. Well, for starting out, it's a lot of money, but later on, it doesn't seem like pennies. <laughs> Once your farm starts growing dramatically, this house, you'll have the kitty cat that'll sell hats. I mentioned it in the other video. For those of you that are new, there'll be a kitty cat in the window that'll sell some shenanigans. Money! Money, money, money! Oh, I like it, the money. Money is my friend. Oh, I reckon so. Money! Give me, give me, give me. Woo! We got a trio! I like my mother. I like my mother very much. Eve. I reckon we do. Ah, that happens to me all the time, buddy. That's the kid's birthday tomorrow. Mm -hmm. 
Let me over there. That's your goodies. Woo! Mummy! 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 Money, money, money! Mummy! Ah, oh, come on! I'll be back by old Matty. Every once in a while, you'll see a guy standing over there. I'll show you the spot when we get back there. If you're ever going to get married, you got to buy the thing on my bubble from him. The mermaid shell. Once you start dating somebody, the mayor will send you a message explaining all the shenanigans that you need. You gotta buy a flower bouquet from the shop, Perry's shop right there in town to start dating once you get a 10 star friendship level with somebody. And then, <clears throat> you gotta buy the mermaid thingy for five grand on the beach to get married. Oh. Uh, how many of them we got in there? Eight. Good. Money, money, money. We'll serve our shenanigans. I don't know if I like this idea anymore. <clears throat> For my second profile, which is my main profile now, which is my main game, I picked this map too. And right here, I built walkways. Going from the edge all the way across. And then from my door here, I built the main walkway going down. And then right here, I placed the, the three trees you need. The pine, the maple, and the oak. And I tapped them, put the tappers on them so I could get the sap out of them. And then I built another walkway here. So I got that this spot for farming. And then I got down here, I put all like the machines. I put the recycling machines here. I put a box here for the junk and then I put my smelters and stuff over here and built a little pathway to the pond and continued the pathway down and I got all this for farming down here and then this spot I got for nothing right now and then this spot I have for farming and then this spot I have for farming well it will be more like right here then I got the trees there and then I put my coop my chicken coop I put right here and then right on the other side of the walkway which is that would be the walkway here. So right by here, I put the barn. So that's how I have my other game set up. But I'm going to try to symbolize it. But I don't know if I even want to do it exactly like that. Like my main two games I've been messing around on, my single player games, they're kind of training. So I can show you perfectly how to do everything on this. To the beach before we have to go to bed. I need my money. Money, money, money. Oh, how much time have we got? Are we already on 50 minutes? I don't know if we have enough time to do another episode or another day. We are kind of running out of time here. Um, I tell you what, I know what we'll do. Mm -hmm. uh, I want to keep the coral, but we need money. Go away. Since we're pretty much out of time, we'll go to sleep. It'll save here. But before we end the episode, 
since it's Vincent's birthday, we'll go see six hundred bucks, five hundred dollars from forging just from that little bit of shenanigans. And it gets better and better, the higher quality stuff, the more you pick up, the more you forge, the higher your stats go, the higher the quality stuff goes, the more money you make. Alright, so before we end the episode... Uh, little Vincent, right? That would be him. All right, since we don't have any of that yet. There you go. We can give him a daffodil. He likes the daffodils! So, that would be what we're gonna do in the next episode. Next episode, next episode. That would be what we're gonna do in the next episode. Stay tuned for more. <laughs> Alright, well, I wanna thank you for watching. I do hope you enjoyed. Stay tuned for more! Stardew Valley! Thanks for watching, everyone.